Don't get too confused, we'll talk you through everything. But first, let's set up the protein skimmer. Knife. Let's open the protein skimmer. Have you ever opened one of these before or used a protein skimmer before? Never. I've opened boxes before, if that counts. <laughs> so what a protein skimmer does is it removes organics from the water and proteins, obviously. It helps with oxygenation as well and removes your nutrients. So nitrates, phosphates, things like that. Gotcha. Cool. That's super like techy almost. It's like a filter. It's a big filter mixed with a Artemia blender. Hmm? That's how it looks at least. This is, uh, it's, it's, it's a mixture between chemical and mechanical filtration. Obviously your filter socks and things like that is more your mechanical filtration, but this does aid in that as well. <laughs> How's the electrician going slow? <laughs> that was a long screw. It's <laughs> They're all the same. Okay, so open the lid there. Pull it out, yep. Remove the cap. Cool, so. That is called a bubble dispersion plate. It will disperse the bubbles. Ah, uh, yeah. Duh. I could have guessed that one. Yeah. So this is the pump. It's just a normal water pump, but protein skimmers, instead of a normal impeller inside, they do have an impeller, but also have a something called a needle wheel attached to the impeller. Yep. And that chops the air up into a million pieces, creating millions of tiny bubbles, bubbles in the chamber. Those bubbles coalesce and hold on to proteins in the water and eventually find their way up over the cup and gets removed from the water column, stays in the cup, and then you can just empty the cup every few days, every week. So does it get gross looking? Does it get dirty? It gets gross looking, it gets smelly looking, it gets everything. Yeah. That's why when I said it's a mixture between chemical and mechanical filtration. Okay, uh, all of our great white products are fully controllable. So you can turn them off, turn them on, change the speeds. If you feed your tank, you can press feed mode and everything uh, shuts what? off for uh, 10, 15, 30 minutes while you're feeding the tank, all sorts of stuff. All right, so you start by undoing the locking ring. Yep. Nice, nice job. Undid that way too well. This then Screws Feeds through onto, that. Or this screws onto the pump. That's it. Then the dispersion plate goes over that fitting there. So this black dispersion plate. Does it? That's it. That's it. It's fine. Turn it around like that. And then your little locking ring threads onto there. That's it. How's that? Uh, don't have to go too tight, but that's perfectly fine. Now you put the cap on, line up the two screws or the three Is spikes in there. That one? Spokes, yep. As long as they all, all three line up. Screw it down again, just firmly, not, not too super, much. super tight. That's it. <laughs> I feel like it needs to go more. Yeah, no, that's it. That's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So we're going to now install the pump. You'll see that water is discharged from here, but it comes in through here. So what you want to do, you want to lift the body of the skimmer. Does it separate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And you want to put your pump. There's a little groove cut out there for the cord. So you want to sit it like that. And yeah, it's got a groove right. there too. Yep, exactly. So line them up. You just hold the cord, yep. You don't have to be gentle. Just kind of force your way down. Yep. Um, and you can now try and get your hand in there like that. So it comes out the side. All right, and you got to put the union on the skimmer as well. It came off. now. How does it bring in air from outside of the tank? Venturi. Oh, Venturi. yeah. You need to push it through the hole and also push it onto the pump as well. Gotcha. If you can. And you can do a little bit of that by putting your hand in and if you can fit. Um, but does it screw or no, is no, it just, just push straight in? That you can push quite tightly, but doesn't again, doesn't have to be super tight. Is that in enough? That's perfect. Get it done. Easy. And this is this goes on top? It does, yeah, but that's the last thing we do. All right. So now you also can, actually there's feet to put on the pump. 
but we can skip that for now and do it after. Yep. Um, that just stops vibrations. Yeah, okay, it stops it being super noisy the whole time? Yeah, so it doesn't shake and rattle. Does it have to be tight because it needs to be watertight, basically? This, yeah, it does. Not, not, again, not super tight. Nothing has to be super tight. Hand tight. Now, you are going to get the airline tube and you're going to thread it through the ring of the body. Yep. Into the hole of the Venturi. Yep. And the other end is going to go into the input under the screw. There's two inputs, yeah? Yep. One's air coming in, one is air going out. Up, yep. And you can push that into... Now, most protein skimmers have what's called a silencer or an air silencer. Yep. The great white, and it's external, the great white skimmer has the air silencer built into the neck. So you don't have this big, bulky... Um, air silencer hanging off the side. That's this? That's, yeah. So this will draw in air through the pump and then expel air through the other tube. And that's how you can control the airflow. All built into the neck. Less airflow, more airflow. Exactly. Gotcha. That goes there. Again, the, the airline doesn't thread into the Venturi either. It just sits in there. Yep. Nothing on this skimmer is meant to be tight and rigid because you do get build up of detritus and coralline algae um, so the more flex there is in each individual part, the easier it is to clean. Nothing gets cemented together. Right. That is how you set up the Great White Protein Skimmer. You just need to put on the cup now. You need to line up the teeth with the teeth here. And then you go clockwise to lock. Again, not tight. That's perfect. That's the Great White Skimmer. That's a good looker. Oh, yeah. yeah. So now talking through the skimmer, you have your <clears throat> discharge pipe that is the amount of internal water inside the skimmer. Yep. The more water that's in the skimmer, the higher the water level internally in the skimmer. What's, what's that? That's the discharge pipe. So as you yeah. turn this, it'll open and close a gate valve. Ah, uh, yep, yep. Allowing more water to escape. Yep. Or less water to escape. Okay. So when you find your perfect water, internal water level, you could then lock it Whoa. with the black O-ring that's supplied so it won't float in the water. Smart. Okay, so you have three ways of tuning the Great White Skimmer. You've got the discharge that we just spoke about. Mm -hmm. You've got the controller, uh, which sets how fast the pump is turning over the water, just like a normal flow on a pump. Yep. And you have the air intake as well. More air, less air. With a protein skimmer, you just don't want everything full blast. There is tuning that comes with it. Uh, different columns of water have different proteins, different biological and chemical reactions happening. So every skimmer tunes differently. Okay. So it's not really like a freshwater filter because I just crank that up to max and as long as it's not a, a yeah, it's chilled not, out tank. It's not really about water flow. It's more about air water balance. Gotcha. Okay. So there's no... There's some more finesse to it. There is more <laughs> finesse and there's no silver bullet. Okay. Every, like we get questions all the time, how do I tune my protein skimmer? Yeah. Or how do you tune a protein skimmer? There's three mechanisms to choose a protein skimmer, but the perfect tune is very specific to every tank. And that's what you need to find the balance. And as you put your hands in the tank and as the tank matures, that's going to change. And then when you have a mature tank, that's when you know you can set and forget. Okay. But that is one of the most important parts of a reef tank. It's not 100% necessary, Lots of reefers do tanks without skimmers, but it's a very, very high minority because it's oh. an inexpensive item, adds oxygen, removes all sorts of waste. Yeah, it's a no-brainer to use.